Hey guys, Too Many Technique here today, and I have a little project here. Nothing much really, but it's the first RC car featured in my channel, but I've been making them for a while now. But anyhow, it's uh, very, very simple. Well, except for the steering part, but I'll get to that later. But it's just a PFL geared 5 to 3 for uh, more torque, powered by a uh, AA uh, power supply. Of nine volts with the S brick connected to it. Now the steering part. It has pneumatic steering connected to two small cylinders, which are kind of hard to see, but right there and right there. Uh, the valve flow, the valve, sorry, is uh, controlled by a PF servo right there, and the compressor is a PFM just connected straight to a small cylinder. And those two are on the same circuit for the same port, right there on the S brick, so that. Um, I don't have the compressor just running randomly in intervals, but it would be kind of nice to control it. I thought about doing it, but I decided not to. I don't even really know why, but it seems to be working just fine without that. Um, it's a very rough prototype. It was mainly made just for the steering system, so that the, uh, it would have something to be attached to. And, uh, I'll show you an example of what I mean. Sorry, I took it off camera there. But it has almost no ground clearance. Focus that kind of. Yeah, there you go. It literally has almost no ground clearance. Maybe two millimeters. But it's pretty bad. But yeah, so I'll um, drive that here in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. So now I'm going to drive it. So, here goes. Alright guys, I now have the um, model is operational. I'm going to move the camera back so there's more you can see. So, right now it's off camera. But you'll be able to see it here in a second. Now, the first issue I'll address with regards to the steering is it's slow. You can't return to the center. No matter what, I mean, you can, but I mean, you're always a little off, and it might look fine when it's not moving, which I'll show you what I mean, because the strength of the little pistons, the small, sorry, pneumatic cylinders, is, uh, I mean, they're very sh strong, because I mean, there's two of them, but on carpet, sometimes it doesn't turn all the way to the center. Um, actually it doesn't do that at all. But right now, it looks like this is the front wheels are centered, and I might have actually gotten it for once, but it actually starts finishing a turn. Yeah, see, it turned it to the left there. But once I start moving again, it uncenters them because the way the cylinders are, because there's less resistance to them while it's moving. For some reason, I can't really figure it out. I mean, I probably could, but I don't really feel like explaining it. And... There's so much lag on it, you have to literally steer like a foot ahead of the object. This is ridiculous. And then, once you're in a bad situation, which happens a lot, it takes about a second for it to decide what it's going to do. But, it's still kind of a cool experiment, and it sucks in all reality, which is a really bad pun. But, you know, it actually came out a lot better than I thought. This uh, model has no actual suspension, there's no springs or anything. I mean, the only suspension in quotation marks is um, on the front of the model where the uh, steering linkage kind of bends a little bit, as well as the uh, control arms, which kind of give it some give, and that's why there's rubber bands there to keep it from having a <laughs> coming off and stuff like that, and having a steering spasm. Because it used to just turn in random directions because of the suspension being so bad. But yeah, now it works. I'll be, uh, I'll show it to you in a hard, I mean not hard, but smooth or surface here in a second. So I'm gonna make my way over there now. Yeah, actually it has enough torque to open a door. 
so I'll uh, resume filming once I'm in there. Alright guys, we're in the bathroom now, it's time to see uh, how this thing goes. I feel like it's driving this thing, it's fast, it's already. Plus I'm in a closed space, because like, the areas I would drive in the house have a bunch of people in it right now. But yeah. Doing run out. Every turn you think you make? No. Alright guys, I think that's it for uh, driving the pneumatic steered car. Alright guys, I think that's it for the this video. Um, well at least for this car because I have one last thing to show you. But uh, Please let me know what you thought about this video in the comments, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe. But, um, here's the last thing I have to show you. It's an RRC yet, because it doesn't have an s -brake. I only have one s -brake, and that's in the pneumatic car. An exterior car, but it is a bike-like thing here. Sorry about the darkness. Um, anyhow, it's very simple. It's uh, rear-wheel drive, like any normal bike, and it doesn't have pedals. It just kind of looks like the bike, but it's propelled by a PFL connected to two uh, wheels here. You can't really see that one very well, but you can see this one, which drive this uh, wheel. It has a uh, front steering, and this uh, project is inspired by a uh, Sariel's Tron motorcycle, as well as um, a uh, little-known channel called, uh, not little-known, but a somewhat well-known uh, channel called New Lego. I'm sorry about the wind in the background, but, um, he, uh, made a thing kind of like this, but right now I'm having issues. <laughs> it's not very stable because it has to have training wheels, but, um, the thing about New Leg is it's just very similar to this, actually, except he made it more tank-like than anything. He made it really wide. He had very large wheels as well, and, uh, four of them. So, 
yeah, this has proved challenging, but it has issues with, uh, well, A, the steering, because there's no traction on it. It works on carpet, but it has a turning radius of, like, an actual car. So, it doesn't work very well. And then, on hardwood, it's horrible, because this front uh, wheel, which is more like a ring than anything else, gets no traction. The rear wheels don't really get, well, they kind of do, because the drive, so it kind of just skips along, you know. But, yeah. Um, and then, of course, when it's under stress, you hear that it's chain drive right here. You can see that. It's a chain drive driving all these two wheels and stuff like that. But it's a uh, chain drive transmission, so you hear <sighs> grinding teeth and under resistance. And uh, reverse is horrible because it's just grinding teeth the entire time because it wasn't really made to reverse. But, yeah. in fact, here's something from Sorry, I was trying to like the steering system is borrowed. Uh, from that of his. I could show you how it works. It's just a very uh, geared down PFM with a clutch. Which doesn't really do anything because of the way it's geared. But I think she was putting this in. Right now I don't have a limiter on it. So it'll go in for a full circle. Plus I can only turn the power one way. But I put the servo on it for a while. Not the servo, the Esprit on it for a while. That's basically how the steering works. But there will be limiters on it, and the way the servo controls it, it will be fine. But yeah. forwards. Yes. Now I'm going to hook up the drive motor. Oh, okay, it's going to get reverse. Oh, I'll take off this piece. So you know I can actually try this thing. Sorry, I'm going to keep like, ah, I turned it on. when I video it, you know, everything breaks, because one of the pins is tempered. One of the pins, which will be replaced soon, it, it's holding the steering system in place, just broke. Alright, there we go. Now, a train wheel, so-called, just fell off. Our so-called train wheel. Watch the other one fall off. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. But yeah, here you go. But yeah, another issue I'm having is what's well, kind of a fail safe system here. Plus, the way I designed it, which is my fault, of course. <laughs> It's kind of nice because it saves the damage or anything, but the gear from the motor comes out. It's under stress. Yeah. Now I'll set this thing on the ground and let it loose. It's kind of slow. It's not nothing special. But, I mean, yeah, I'm still working on it. Hopefully the steering will be fixed soon. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys uh, liked it, and uh, yeah. And uh, yet again, please rate, comment, and subscribe. But I don't really care if you don't. Because I'm going to keep making videos anyway. So, bye.